How's it going my fellow aviators? Got some Airbus news for you all? Now Airbus is planning to make a heavier version of the A330neo which will increase the range by 650 miles compared with the current 900neo variant. Now it's putting the range of the 900neo with a 251 ton maximum takeoff weight at 7200 miles. Airbus has indicated that it is pursuing a 251 ton option and it believes it can keep the A330's Neo empty weight and maximum zero fuel weight unchanged. They're expecting the new variant to enter into service by the year 2020 and the new model will only need minor reinforcements on the wing and the fuselage. Now the main and the nose landing gear would also need reinforcements and would feature a new type of tyres and brakes. Although the reinforcements will increase the weight, Airbus believes they can compensate through weight trimming, adding that the efficiency of the aircraft would be uncompromised. The increase of the range will position the new A330neo as a true trans-Pacific aircraft and the new variant will offer a 1500 mile range increase over the typical A330s that are currently in service. Now Airbus is pitching the new design in the Asian market and is looking beyond China and hopefully it could serve routes to Australia from Los Angeles. Now two 900neo test aircraft are participating in the certification campaign which is around 50% complete and Airbus is pushing the boundaries of their test flights and gaining results which were predicted. So this is good news if they plan to go down this route. Now there's no official name for the new aircraft at this moment in time, but I believe the new variant will gain quite a few orders from airlines such as Air China, China Southern, Hong Kong Airlines and Cathay Pacific and many more because they operate a large fleet of the current A330s. It remains to be seen what the difference will be between this and the operating cost of the current 900neo but I don't think it'll be too substantial as they're only making minor modifications and at the same time they're compensating it by removing weight from other areas. Now we shall wait and see what information Airbus releases regarding this new variant. Now what are your thoughts on this guys? Do you think it'll gain orders as Airbus expects and what routes do you see it being used on? Let me know in it. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.